Okay. All right, everyone. This is Rajneesh Gupta, and this video is about mock interview for SOC analyst. Okay. So every every day we are going to do a mock interview series, and um, in this mock interview, Jermin will be the interviewer, and he will be asking me questions about SOC analyst, security analyst. So first of all, let me introduce you to Jermin Partak. Uh, he is the security consultant, and he also works works with Hexcamp as a security instructor, lead instructor. Hello, okay. Hello. And um, so, uh, let me tell you about how exactly the process this is. This mock interview will work. Jamin will ask me a few questions, and uh, he also asked me some counter questions based on my answers. And at the end of the video. I'll give you the elaborated answer about uh, the main question. Okay. So, enough talking. Let's get into the interview. Hi, Jeremy. Okay. Hello, Rajneesh. Welcome to the interview. Let's get started. So, my sure. first question is about SOC. What is SOC? And uh, what are they responsible for? Sure. So SOC is the security operation center. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a team. It's a facility. It's a department. And um, as per my understanding, SOC, uh, SOC, their their first, uh, their their major uh, responsibility is to bring down the security risk, uh, to counter, to address all the real time threats in the real time itself okay so they works as the first line of defense and the people and the uh, you know security professional who works in the SOC team are called as SOC analysts okay now there are multiple tiers uh, this works in uh, almost every cases there are multiple tiers there are three major tiers SOC tier 1 uh, SOC tier 2 and SOC tier 3 uh, so SOC tier one is basically works like a you know uh, the first line of defense as I said earlier uh, they they take care of security monitoring okay they take care of the initial triage uh, they make sure that if they these alerts are false positive or these are genuine okay they also do the primary investigation as well then second we have SOC tier two who are responsible for uh, you know incident response and the further investigation detail investigation they perform the digital forensics uh, they they make sure that uh, uh, you know the impact on the network is lower and they, their job is to make sure that that the malware or attack is being eradicated from the network and uh, faster recovery is also their priority okay so and next we have SOC tier three who are basically uh, more focused on threat hunting. When I say threat hunting, it means proactive threat hunting. So they have a, a hypothesis that the organization is already being compromised. Okay, they have uh, uh, there there can be multiple hypotheses. To be very honest, that's their assumption that the organization is already compromised, and based on that assumption, they create multiple hypotheses to find out different threats into the network. Okay. Now this is about the team. There, there are uh, tools as well. Okay. When it comes to security, we talk about three important elements: the uh, process, people, and tool. So we just not talk about the uh, people. Now, when we talk about the tools, so uh, uh, SIM tool is the heart of the entire shop. SIM is security incident and event management. Uh, tool like Splunk is the very popular one. So this collects the log data and event from all the all the devices from the network and give us the visualization. Second, very important tool is the EDR endpoint detection and response tool, uh, like CrowdStrike, Windows Defender. They are responsible, and this tool basically help you to give you the data from all all uh, from all the device endpoints from the network. So you focus on what's really relevant. Okay. Then we also have security orchestration and uh, automation tool, uh, which is basically SOAR tool, which basically replicate all the 
which basically uh, automate all the recurring or uh, you know all, all the recurring activity of the network like phishing phishing analysis uh, email analysis threat intelligence lookup and all those stuff fourth which is very important tool is the itsm tool which is incident management tool like service now uh, this completes the tools and uh, as i said there's there's a you know there's a process element as well for the soc which is about uh, you know what are the different process which is follow uh, so nist uh, and uh, sans these are the major uh, framework which has been followed uh, from nist this is called nist incident response and sans incident response so both are more or less same but uh, it's all about how you uh, respond to any incident into the network so this is about sock um, and they are responsible in bringing down the overall security uh, posture of the network so yeah that, that's that's all yeah okay it was a nice uh, explanation so my next question is then so tell me about what uh, how soc is different than NOC. uh well uh well uh, uh i although i haven't got a chance to work in a NOC environment earlier but as far as i understand i think you're talking about the network operations center right yes that's correct network okay. operating system yeah so okay. center sorry i just wanted to confirm so uh so based on my understanding knock is all about uh, uh taking care of network related incidents like uh monitoring or managing network devices like routers switches uh servers everything everything that is being that's a part of the network so if for example if the network is slow or the users are facing slowness into the network or some some applications are not working router is is not reachable or switch is rebooting all all you know very often so this comes under the network operation center so their their main job is to bring down the downtime in the network okay and they also take care of upgrading the router and switches in the maintenance window or cutover uh, duration uh soc on the other hand deals with the uh, these with the security incidents right as we just talked about they take care, uh, they deal with malware infection if there's a ransomware attack if there's a denial of service attack if there's a brute force attack so they deal with the security incidents so th that's 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 the difference yeah so when you say uh soc is dealing with cyber security uh -huh. so what soc is contributing into the overall cyber security program Sure. So, uh, well, uh, and from my understanding, SOC is very important. Okay. Uh, it's not because I've been working with it or uh, I'm in that career path. Uh, it's mainly because um, the the purpose of SOC, it's very, it's very difficult to uh, quantify or, you know, measure that. But yeah, uh, because uh, let's say if we have if we if we don't have a sock okay and we just have installed antivirus software in the network we just have firewalls in the network we just have email security spam filter in the network right so if you look at the current threat landscape the you know uh, the threat actor or the malwares are are able to bypass the security solutions right so if we install these antivirus software and this preventive tools and we 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 have to completely believe them okay and we might relax uh you know keeping in mind that they will do their job it's a wrong approach because uh these malware can actually bypass them and we will never know about it on the other hand if we have a SOC which is mixed of the tools and the peep and and people of course uh even if someone try to uh you know do any advanced attack or try to bypass any of the security controls as well there are people behind who can monitor those uh, activity okay so that's where the accountability will be taken out from the uh the accountability will be taken out from the uh you know uh uh tools and will be given to the people again right 
So this way, uh, an, uh, you know, we actually work uh, a lot on the security element and we actually bring down the overall security, uh, bring down the risk exposure to the network. And that's how it is helpful in the security program as well. So, yeah. Great, great, Rajnish. Uh, it was a nice explanation by you. It's awesome. So, thank you. Thank you. All right. So, um, thank you so much, Jermin, uh, for having me here. Now, it's time I, I should give you the detailed explanation about what is SOC and get ready, guys. So, um, let me share my screen and um, let me share my screen, guys. Okay, yeah. Okay, then. All right. So, um, yeah, we go. So, uh, basically, as I said, SOC has three tiers, right? So, depending on the organization and in, in the managed security service or in the consulting businesses, it can be different. But this works in, this is similar in most of the organization. SOC tier one uh, take care of the security monitoring or threat management. They take care of the security monitoring activity. Okay, and they take care of the primary investigation, primary investigation uh, into the network for every alerts that they get it. They also deal with the false positive. They remove the false positive. They perform the initial uh, triage. Okay, and uh, they keep their eye on this Splunk tool. Uh, I mean, SIM tool, basically. Okay or the EDR2. So that's their job. Now, if something is really important, something that's really need further investigation, SOC tier one will create an incident on the ITSM tool. I hope you remember. So, you know, uh, they will create, a, in, create an incident on the ITSM tool like ServiceNow, and they will assign it to the SOC tier two. SOC tier two is the one I told you that who responsible for the advanced investigation. They are also called as the FIR team, Digital Forensic and Incident Response Team. They take care of the getting the artifacts first, looking at the artifacts, performing the Windows uh, Digital Forensics. They also perform the malware analysis as well. And then their job is to make sure they, you know, they uh, uh, remediate the network, they, they actually isolate the malware or they maybe, uh, you know, uh, mitigate the attack in the network. So that's their first job. And they uh, then once it is done, then they perform the recovery of the network as well, or they probably assign it to the IT team. Okay. They can also do the threat intelligence lookup or advanced threat intelligence lookup. It's not that the tier one team cannot do that. They are they can also do the threat intelligence lookup, but uh, threat intelligence they they DFIR team team do it in the much more detail. And now the SOC tier three team is very uh, different. They they are responsible for threat hunting, and with that they when I say threat hunting, they do the proactive threat hunting with an assumption that the organization is already being compromised, okay? So they use the multiple hypothesis. One of the very popular hypothesis is by using the MITRE attack framework, okay? It's very, very popular framework. If you want to know much more detail about MITRE attack framework, then I'll mention the link in the description. You should definitely watch this video, watch that video, okay? Um, they make use of a lot of tools. Uh, one of the popular tool, uh, you know, uh, one of the popular open source tool is the OS Query, okay, or Velociraptor. Uh, well, I mean, both of both of both of these tools are also used by the DFIR tool, DFIR team, or the software two team as well. But uh, thread hunting is very, very advanced, uh, you know, activity. So multiple tools are already available. But uh, as I told you earlier, ADR is common everywhere. So we, we, you talk about SOC tier one, two, three, everywhere the ADR tools are used. Okay, this is the most common thing. Tools like CrowdStrike, Windows Defender, Sentinel One. These are the ADR tools. They take care of everything from uh, that that's helpful for everyone from tire tire one to tire three. Okay.
okay and the mo another common thing is the reporting okay whether it is a uh, tier 1 team tier 2 team or tier 3 team all have to deal with the reporting what what's there in the reports basically it consists of the data from uh, what happened basically timeline of when it has happened and what is the artifact what's the malware hash what's the source ip address what's the victim ip address uh, how that was happened what was the attack vector uh, you know everything everything so everything is there in it and that's how the entire system really works okay so that's the process that's that's how the sim uh, that's how the sock system really works i hope this was useful for you uh, let me know in the comment section how, how how did you like this video and if you have any question do let me know do just know in the chat in the in the comment section and if you have any of your interview question we'll try to answer that we'll take it in the mock interview series as well uh, this is me rajneesh gupta and jamin patak uh, of course you know me i'm i'm security consultant jamin is also security consultant if you have any questions you have any need any help you can always reach out to us on our linkedin i'll mention our linkedin account as well thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the next video thank you thank you